What is up guys, Robert Jr. here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it is much appreciated and I hope you enjoy this one. Today, we will be hacking the PlayStation Portable first generation, aka PSP 1000 fat version. And we are going to be adding custom firmware and custom firmware is going to enable us to add games from various generations from the uh, Nintendo all the way up to the GameCube and also it will enable you to have awesome uh, menus and also have some really cool custom themes so as you can see I have a whole bunch of games on my PSP already but they're uh, outdated uh, the firmware that I have on both of these devices are outdated and so I really want to upgrade to the latest one which is the Pro C and so let's go ahead and get started okay first things first make sure you have a good working USB cable alright next up is your power cable make sure you have this connected to your PSP at all times and make sure that you're using a good wall outlet alright guys our first download is the 7-zip program and you're either going to download the 32-bit or the 64-bit depending on your operating system you can quickly check your operating system by going to the search tab and searching settings once you get into settings go into system and once you go into system go into about and you'll look at system type and as you can see I have the 64-bit operating system so I will be downloading the 64-bit program and once you got that downloaded go ahead and go into your download folder or wherever you have it downloaded and run the program and just follow the instructions on installing the uh, program I already have it installed so I don't have to uh, do this next up we're gonna be downloading the PSP official firmware version 6.60 if you already have this installed you can skip this we are going to use the third link in the download section and that is the direct link on the wololo.net website once you have that all downloaded now we can go ahead and use 7-zip by right clicking and we're going to extract here and that is going to extract two different files one that's a readme and one that is a folder called update okay now we can connect our USB cable to our PSP and once we got that connected let's go and enable USB connect to the PC once you have USB enabled make sure to find your PSP drive and we're gonna go into PSP and we're gonna drag the update folder into that and it will be copying two items and it shouldn't take too long now we're gonna go into our PSP we're gonna disconnect our USB cable and then we're gonna go into game and in game you'll see the PSP update version 6.60 and we're just gonna hit X to enable that it does take a few minutes for the update to get started so once you got that running uh, go ahead and accept the user agreement and once you got that accepted just go ahead and get it started and the firmware will start installing once the update is completed press X to restart the device and once you have it restarted you can go ahead and check your firmware by going into system settings and system information and you will now be ready to install the custom firmware next up we will be downloading the final file which is the pro CFW and this is Pro C2. So we're going to be using the second link in the download section. Let's go ahead and click that. And that will take us to a new page, which is Mediafire. Go ahead and download that file. 
Alright, once you have it ready, we're going to right click and use 7-zip once again. We're going to extract here. And that will bring up two new folders. One is going to be PSP and one is going to be SE plugins. Connect your PSP again to your PC. Make sure to find your PSP drive once again. And now we're going to go into the PSP folder in our PSP drive. And then we're going to go into game. And now we're going to go into the PSP folder on the download side go into game and now we're going to copy two folders from these three we're just going to copy pro update and we're going to copy fast recovery so just drag those into the PSP folder drive okay guys we're going to go back into our PSP we're going to disconnect our USB cable for the final time and now we're going to go into uh, game and go into our memory stick and now you'll see two different uh, options. You have fast recovery and pro update. We want to go into pro update. Okay, now you're going to see a funny little uh, menu that pops up on the upper left corner, which says Pro C by Team Pro and press X to launch custom firmware. And there's other options, but we don't have to worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and press X. And now we finally made it to the end. Now we can press X to start our custom firmware. And that is how you add custom firmware to your Sony PlayStation Portable first generation, aka PSP Fat version. All right, guys, to finalize this video, uh, this custom firmware is not perfect. So, uh, what I mean by that is that every time you restart your system, uh, it's gonna go back to the original firmware. So right now it's at 6.60 Pro dash C. And uh, let's go ahead and press select. That's gonna bring up the Pro VH or VSH menu. And then I'm gonna go ahead and reset this device. It's a really cool additional uh, little menu after you get it all uh, hacked. So every time you reboot it, it's gonna go back to the original uh, firmware but it's not a problem I'll go ahead and show you guys here really quick and uh, let me cover up my Mac address really quick here too let's see if I got that on there yep so now it's at version 6.60 so if you have a bunch of games that only work for the custom firmware obviously it's not gonna work so in order for you to fix this is very easy and very simple so uh, you just go into your uh, game memory stick and you're gonna use pro c fast recovery and this takes about maybe less than 10 seconds to enable the custom uh, firmware so here we go waiting and it just go back to the main menu here you're gonna see the memory card flash here and then we're going to go into our system settings one more time. Go into system information and bam, there it is. 6.60 Pro dash C. All ready to go, guys. So just wanted to add that here at the end of the video because I totally forgot to do that. But there you go. Also, guys, there is a way to permanently have the custom firmware on here so you don't have to uh, use the fast recovery. And that is the other folder that was included with the uh, custom firmware, which is called the CIPL Flasher. But I recommend not to use that because you may break your PSP. So this is the best way for you to uh, go ahead and just uh, reset your custom firmware. So I just recommend you guys just doing this. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. 
and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It did take me a few hours to uh, put this video together. So if you guys can give me a thumbs up, that would be great. And moving forward, I'll be showing you how to add PlayStation 1 games, uh, Nintendo games, uh, all sorts of cool stuff to your PSP now that we have it unlocked or hacked or whatever you want to call it. But thanks again, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. And please check out my gaming channel. All the links will be in the description below. Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one.